Hi there, this is John from Commercial Real Estate Online. Welcome to the program today. The website to contact us is commercial-realestate-training.com and this particular program today, which is all about cold calling, is going to help you develop your system, your process, your activities as a successful agent using cold calling as a backbone of activity. Now I'm going to put the link to the program right here in this post so that you can visit the article print it off, use it as a resource to help you build your business. So that's it. Let's get into the program and you can enjoy the results over time. Today, I want to talk about making cold calls in commercial real estate because it's a big part of growing an agent's business, providing the system is established, refined, improved, and of course, developed through a territory at an agent level in any location. So I'm going to talk about automating your cold calling activity so you get some results from it. Now, I know that you might be struggling with making cold calls at the moment. Many agents do. But this particular program today will help you understand what to do, how to do it, and how to develop a system to help you. So... In commercial real estate today, the prospecting process that you adopt will help you dominate your territory and convert more listings, if you let it. Simply said, you must develop the system, personally, for yourself. Part of that prospecting process should always include cold calling. You can do other things, of course, and you should. But cold calling should be part of your diary every day for a good period of time. Many commercial real estate agents and salespeople struggle with cold calling in sales and leasing and property management as well, but that's a bit different, of course, from a brokerage perspective. However, all of that difficulty doesn't have to happen. It doesn't have to be the case. Providing you commit to the system of contacting people and shifting your mindset. And that's what this program will help you do. The reason for making the call, the cold call, is simply to see if the person you are talking to has a need or an interest related to property and real estate locally today or in the future. And that can be across sales, leasing or property management. So your real estate prospecting process, what does it look like now? How does it work? Is it any good? Do you get results from it? When you establish a significant prospecting model incorporating this concept of making cold calls. Yes, I know it's a challenge, but you can achieve real momentum in your real estate job and your career, your industry, in sales, leasing, or property management. When you work on a commission as part of your salary, then this whole concept of making cold calls is so important. It's such a good thing. It takes about three or four weeks to establish a new habit of prospecting and making cold calls work for you. Now, if it's not working now, it's simply the fact that you haven't refined it, improved it, and established it in your diary. It's that simple. When you do it correctly, you get the results. If you do it randomly, you don't get the results. So there's the challenge. Many commercial salespeople don't make it past week one. For this very reason, the opportunity is significant for those who can build a habit and create the system. So I'm going to give you a prospecting model now for brokers and for agents. I want you to think about the seven things that I mentioned here because they are critical to getting your system underway. Remember, this will be a challenge for the next two, three or four weeks. Every day you'll need to discipline yourself to do it. But as you do it, you will improve. You will get results. You will see that the whole thing is working for you. Then you simply start refining what you're doing and getting some progress locally. Soon you'll get some meetings, then you'll get some listings, and that is exactly what you want. So here is the model. Number one, define your territory so that you can 
research the right people to contact and the right properties to chase down. Do not spread yourself too far across your territory in that you will create a lack of focus and then you will not see where you are progressing. You won't have a plan. It won't work. Don't spread yourself too far. Keep it in small pockets of properties, small precincts. If indeed you have a big territory to look after, then break it down into streets, street blocks, that sort of thing. I go back to the point that the system you develop here is so important. The system requires you to do the work, track the numbers and track your results. If you spread yourself too far, the numbers and the results simply become meaningless. And that's no good for you. So who are you calling? In most cases, the easiest people to make contact with are the local business owners and or proprietors. Now, I know that you want to speak to investors as well. I get that, and you will. But if you have nothing else, start with business people. The business telephone book can give you the information that you need to get started in volumes of calls. So it's the yellow pages, the business pages in your location. These business people can give you leads and opportunities relating to the property owner and or their business. The local business people also know more about their street and location than you do. Some of their neighbouring businesses may be seeking relocation, so ask the right questions. Number three, why are you calling? You have to sort out that idea within your your head, your mindset very quickly. Why are you making the calls? Now, it's an interesting question because there is a specific explanation that I want you to understand. You should not be making the call for your own purposes. In other words, not to create meetings, not to create listings. The real reason for making the call is this. You are calling to see if the other person requires commercial real estate assistance or if indeed they have an interest in commercial real estate. That's it. Now, if the person says, no, I do not have an interest or no, I am not going further, then that is fine. You say, thank you very much, sir or madam. Thank you for chatting. I wish you well. That's it. You have so many people to call to talk to that you don't need to waste your time with someone that's pushing you back. So when you do this, The calls get much easier and more productive. That's what you want. The goal of each call should be to establish a conversation. You can get much more information from the conversation than you can from some sales pitch across the telephone. If the person you call does not require your assistance, ideas or comments, then politely thank them for the conversation and move on to the next person. Number four, set the right time to make the calls. There will be a certain time of day when the outbound calls create better results for you and also for the person you're talking to. Determine that time. It might be first thing in the morning. It might be later in the day. But factor it into your daily diary. Creating a habit of making calls is really important. Make the calls every day as the first priority in your diary. Get the system going. Now stick to the time that works when it comes to getting the outbound calls done. It might be convenient to break down the calls to two separate hourly sessions. The beginning of the day and the end of the day. That's fine. That works. Number five. Take notes from every conversation. Some of those conversations should be entered into your database. Over time, you can build relationships with the right people and a database will help you do that. Number six. Make lots of calls on a daily basis. If you are using the business telephone book, you should make at least 40 outbound calls per day to new people. It's so easy to dial 40 numbers. Now that process should take you two or three hours. Some conversations will evolve from that, others will not. Now you won't get through to 40 people, so don't stress. Some people you won't connect to at all. Some businesses will not connect with you at all. But you should speak to at least 15 to 20 people and some of those people will be relevant to meet with and or call back. The people that you miss out on today can be called back tomorrow and so on. Just develop a callback system. Number seven, keep your numbers so you know you are proceeding, how you are proceeding. The ratios to monitor are calls out, connected calls, meetings created. 
From those meetings, you will be converting business and listings that can be separately monitored and tracked. The cold calling process does not need to be hard. It just needs to be done. Difficulty diminishes over time when you start the process. Now, this is perhaps one of the biggest challenges for many salespeople in commercial real estate. Take on the challenge. Sure, it's a little bit difficult, but it's not really hard. It's just a discipline. So what do top salespeople do? They make plenty of calls. Take on the challenge and make cold calling a significant part of your business model. Enjoy the results. Develop the system over two or three weeks. Get it done. Track your numbers and you will be absolutely pleased with the result. Enjoy. And so that's the program for today. You now know what the system of cold calling is all about. You also have the link to the program, the article on the website that you can go to and print off and use. So please do that. The website is visited daily by thousands of agents from all over the world. So use it as your resource as well to get ideas when it comes to handling anything in sales, leasing or property management. That's it for now. I'll catch you in the next program.